Hello, welcome back to the first episode in a brand new series of RimWorld. Uh, my first time using the Biotech expansion. We're about to get started. Uh, if you're interested in all of the theme for this run, the world gen settings and all of the setup stuff, there is a separate video for that. So there is a video preceding this one in the playlist that goes through all of the setup stuff. But if you've already watched that or you're not interested in that, welcome. Uh, we'll make a start. We're setting up on this nice desert tile around this oasis. The goal is going to be to set up a nice big vampire fortress. Uh, and here's our two starting colonists. Not the greatest starting colonist ever. Uh, Hexo here is a volatile psychopath. Like social medical animals and fighting. That's it. And Kuzpai is a vulgar, powerful shooting Kionophile. So he loves snow. Probably not going to be super relevant in the desert. I also notice as well these guys are related. So, who's by is Hexaflex's son? He's uh, 15 years old. Like intellectual, medical, cooking, and shooting. So notably absent are any of the relevant early game survival skills that we might need, such as you know the ability to build anything or grow anything or craft anything. Uh, but we'll make do. We'll do what we can. Uh, we have a little bit of growing around here as well, thanks to the oasis. So I'm probably going to try and set up in this little bit of ruin, get a little bit of growing done, and uh, maybe do a little bit of hunting. Although we don't have a ranged weapon either. We do have a masterwork longsword, which is pretty interesting. Uh, since this is the first time doing uh, biotech stuff, I also took a minute to look through, <laughs> where is it, the uh, sanguifrage stuff? This is going to be pretty confusing. I, I wasn't sure if vampires would need to eat or sleep. But I guess they do, they just also need blood and death rest. So, yeah, well, we'll get into that. Uh, and since we like the night, I was thinking of also putting our guys on a night schedule as well, just immediately. Um, because our ID religion means that we really like darkness and stuff. Uh, and Hexer is a vampire already. We'll turn Kuzbo into a vamp vampire eventually. I think I could do that now, but... Um, but I'll wait until we get set up, just in case there's any requirements vampires have that I'm not aware of just yet. Uh, anyway, let's unpause and get started. Alright, I'll start making some use of this uh, good growing terrain. I'll just start growing some rice. I don't think we can grow much more than that, because we don't have any growing skill. But uh, we'll give that a shot. Uh, we also, thanks to the regrowth mod, I believe, we have this uh, ability to set a bathing zone. So, sure. Uh, we can get some recreation by bathing in the oasis. That seems pretty nice. Uh, next up, I'm probably just going to tear down some of the walls here. Uh, or to get the bricks. Move them over here and expand this little structure a bit. We have a little bit of wood. Um, and we can get a few more from this region. But once we start putting down... Oh, hey. X is already, already bathing. Hexa made a comment about guilty pleasures to Kuzpo. That's fine, you know, you can relax in the Oasis. I'm not going to judge you. Uh, yeah, we're going to run out of wood eventually because we're going to turn a lot of this into farm plots, which means we're going to lose... This is the only bit of growing territory we have, so... Yeah, I'll try and turn this into uh, a stone building immediately, start making bricks. Which thankfully doesn't require any skill. Uh, and I'll keep the wood for making beds. I don't know who's going to do <laughs> the beds. Let's check out what we can actually do. Alright, fight fires, be patient. We can both be doctors, which is kind of nice, I guess. Uh, childcare, that's going to be completely new to me. Alright, Kuzbai can cook at least. We could technically both hunt, although... Uh, yeah, we don't have any ranged weapons at the moment. Uh, yeah, I mean... I guess you both should just do everything, because... You're both equally bad. Uh, we'll leave off art for now. Alright, they're making a start. I'll expand this a bit once we've got some sandstone. This might take a while. Oh, one thing I should do is make sure one of our guys is doing growing before construction. So that, that gets done. This guy has slightly more skills, so nope, he's asleep. Okay, well, I guess that was the. <laughs> I guess that was the. Um, yeah, we should. I'll once the day is over, I'll uh, put them on a night schedule. And now we can work a bit more. I do have big plans for this place eventually. Um, we do have quite a bit of um, bad terrain for building on. 
which might impact the kind of layout of our fortress. Uh, but for now, I'm not going to worry about any of that. We're just going to make a very basic structure to start off in. So I'll just... Um, what is this stuff? This is all <laughs> just ancient bits of uh, junk. I think we should have enough bricks to do this. Uh, and if not, I'll just shrink it a little bit. In fact, I might be better off making it a lot smaller than that to begin with. Something like that. Probably works better. All right, looking good, you know. I'll leave the guys to it. All right, just caught Kuzbai trying to consume raw cactus. That's probably a good time to start unforbidding some stuff over here. Oh yeah, I should really make Hexor equip that Masterwork Longsword as well. Oh, that's probably, <laughs> probably a good idea. Uh, let's just forbid that for now. We've almost got a little room, you know, that's nice. Uh, Hexor commented about friendly town councillors. All right, I think we're getting a bit ahead of ourselves there. Let's start with walls before we start worrying about uh, town councillors. Normal bed. Eggs are rocking that two construction skill. I haven't seen him botch anything yet either. All right, we've got a poor bed. I mean, it can't all be winners, I guess. Let's fix this schedule now. I feel like that'll be fine for now. Uh, we can tweak it. Oh, we watch Hexa put the finishing touches on our little house. Um, I'll just also make a note that hopefully my mic sounds fine in this recording. And having some audio issues uh, listening back to stuff since my headphones broke. But I've done my best to make sure it sounds okay. If there are any serious issues with mic quality, uh, I do apologize. I hope you can bear with it and I'll try and get it sorted once I can actually hear my output, which at the moment is a bit of a struggle. Uh, wow, three construction. I think we should have enough to finish this little corner here. Kuzbai is a lot more tired than uh, Hexa, although he's almost fully rested already. And yes, confirming <laughs> vampires do in fact have to eat food. All right, stage one of our grand vampire fortress is complete. You know? Gotta start somewhere. Uh, I'll just designate this as a basic stockpile for now just to get some of this stuff brought in. Pretty sure this stuff rots, right? Yeah, the food's rotting. The wood's probably rotting. Blood? Oh yeah, that's rotting as well. Uh, med kits. God, we talked about 20 medicine. Components. Yeah, we'll get all that hauled in. Expand this. Might have to build a shelf or something. And that's okay. I mean, you guys did well. Let's stay down. Arm is, you know, mostly sewn. I think that's a good start for two guys with absolutely no skill in anything relevant or useful. I'm proud of you. I'll claim one of these tables next as well, I think. Stick that over here. I'm going to run out of base pretty quickly though, huh? Well, we'll try and get this place expanded as fast as possible. All right, don't think we're going to have enough bricks to finish this entire wall. There are a few more little ruins scattered around, though. What is this? Contains an ancient mechanoid transponder. I did notice we don't have a, an ancient danger on this map, so maybe this is uh, instead of that. Uh, so I'll ignore that for now. <laughs> I'll pull apart some of these ruins, though. Is this steel or marble? Or... That's steel. Uh, this is marble though, so why not? We'll deconstruct this stuff here and get the rest of these bricks. Uh, after that we'll probably have to start making our own bricks. Oh, Kuzbai not quite as uh, adept at construction as <laughs> Hexa. Hexa with his massive three construction. Kuzbai a mere one. They're doing their best though. All right, we'll fill in with marble, and that should be fine. We're not on any rough terrain here, either. Uh, and food is still okay. Lots more rations out here still. Rotting in the sunlight. But we'll get those hauled in. Uh, 
Alright then. It's ugly, but it's home. He's probably chatted about sweating with Hexaflex, yeah. He's probably not really cut out for the desert. Uh, and a group from Eastern Asphantala are visiting. It includes Kuzpai's grandniece and Hexaflex's great granddaughter. Well, how about that? Doesn't look like there's anything we can do to interact with these guys. Uh, they also... Yeah, you can tell that they're related to us because they have no use, no useful skills. Actually, Fragger is good at farming, so there's that. They're also both double burning passion and social, so one of the rules for this playthrough is if I want to turn more people into vampires, they have to have uh, double burning passion in social or intellectual. But uh, I don't think we, we're going to imprison these guys and try to convert them. Let's uh, let's try and get uh, established for ourselves first before we start trying to double the size of the colony instantly. Right, I don't have enough construction skill to start setting up any kind of power generation, which makes sense. Uh, I could set up a fueled stove. I don't really want to rely on wood, but we might have to for the short term. I don't feel good about. Uh, but yeah, we'll try and get a field over set up. I, there are plenty of trees currently, though. I shouldn't worry too much about wood just now. We'll get that set up. And we'd like to get a stone cutter's table set up as well, but we are missing wood now, so... <laughs> Let's just start designating some uh, fully grown trees. We'll get that brought in. And what are our research benches? Uh, steel? Or wood? Yeah, you're gonna need lots of wood. Alright, we'll get the stone cutters table finished off. Expand the rest of this building just a little bit more in some research benches. And after that, we'll set up a little prison, I think, just to make sure we're ready if anybody tries to attack us. And at that point, I, I don't know, unless I feel like trying to scale up construction, there's not a lot we can do at the moment. Coming up construction might not be too difficult, though. I think we only need four to do some power and stuff. X is already on three. Very close to four, actually. Maybe if I just lay down some floors or something, it might be fine. Yeah, I guess we'll get the stone cutter table done first then. I guess I can put in some floors. Yeah, we'll leave Kuzbite off uh, construction for now. We'll let Hexa try and focus on it. Alright, we'll start making sandstone and marble blocks until we have 50. And uh, I'll make a start on expanding this structure a little bit. Uh, nothing too crazy just yet. I'll slap down a horseshoe pin as well, uh, just in case the guys get tired of bathing in the oasis. Although how could you? I mean, look at it. How tranquil is that? <laughs> Checking in on moods. Uh, it looks like the big one we have that's a problem is uh, our guys do not like doing dumb labor. Which comes from our aristocracy meme. And our ideologian. Uh, Hexa also does not like being outside. Uh, sunlight sensitivity. Due to being a vampire. But, uh, I mean, there's a lot of sunlight out here in the desert. And a lot of work that needs to be done. So, I'm going to have to just deal with it, I think. Mad Gazelle. All right. Our first issue. So, can a vampire with a masterwork longsword deal with a gazelle? I guess we're about to find that out. Can 
You never know though. I can also throw piercing spines, which I'm very curious about. They're exceptionally short range though. But uh, why not? I'll give this a shot first. Okay, it looks like we're just going to be in melee though. I'm not really... Right, I'm not sure if that hits. Alright, Hexer is losing to the Gazelle. Nope, never mind. Now, if I read it correctly, and it's possible I didn't, it looks like vampires just can't die unless their brain is destroyed. Which seems kind of strong. Uh, <laughs> kind of strong. So I'm not sure if... I'm not sure if the gazelle had much chance of winning. Maybe it could have downed Hexa though. Uh, ripped off her legs or something. Or his legs. Uh, but this is our first kill of the, uh, <laughs> the series. Uh, congratulations. I don't yet have a butchering spot or anywhere to put corpses. Uh, we can fix that easily though. We can use this for corpses for now. Uh, probably not mechanoid corpses, probably not rotten corpses. Uh, and we'll just make do with a butcher spot. And our ID Legion does not m mind eating human meat. So, I can turn that on as well, for strangers. We don't love it, we don't hate it, it's just meat as far as we're concerned. Uh, yep, that looks good. That's set up forever at least. Uh, I think I just saw coups by 10 Hexaflex, which first of all I don't think is necessary. Second of all, he used good medicine, which is... <laughs> Definitely not necessary, so uh, let's just do that for now. And we're worried about micromanaging that later. Uh, what else should I have done? I think there's a quest thing I'm supposed to turn off, right? Uh, oh yeah, the reward stuff. Um, I will take honor from the the Empire. Because that's one of the things I'm going to focus on in this playthrough. Is going up honor ranks uh, with our vampires. So, oh, and congrats on hitting four construction, Hexa. Uh, very exciting. Uh, besides that, I'll turn the other stuff off. What is the other thing I'm supposed to micromanage? Maybe I'll remember that <laughs> before the end of the episode. I'm sure there's something else I'm supposed to do. Uh, I think... Uh, oh. Right, I changed the defaults, but not theirs. Okay. Uh, flea is fine for now. I guess Hexa should be on attack. Outfit stuff we don't need to change yet. Food we don't need to change yet. Drug policy, we don't have any drugs. This is all fine for now. We're making bricks, we're building... We'll get some research benches in here. And is there anything else we can use to, to produce stuff at the moment? We could set up a crafting spot and make some bows, I suppose. But uh, that's about it. And we have how much crafting skill do we have? Uh, zero and three. Three might be able to make a bow, right? I'd get coosed by, coosed by a weapon at least. Why not? We'll slap that down in here for now. Let's see. Uh, oh, I can also make thrombo plushies, you'll be pleased to know. That was uh, one of the mods that was recommended. Uh, short bow, how much skill does this require? Two, yeah, we can make one of those. Uh, Coos bow. I'm going to make this. Just do it once. See if it's any good. Uh, missing 30 wood. Alright, well, we're out of wood again already. Doesn't bode well. I <laughs> haven't built anything out of wood. I guess the workbenches. And the horseshoe pit. Need to defend that with our lives. Once we start getting attacked. Jokes about top hats and tailors there. Very good. Very good. And there's our next room. But having no one who does construction, you know, we've built quite a lot this episode. That's that's inspiring. Even a short bow. It's normal, even. That's not too bad. You know, it looks like they're a wonderful um, morbid style, which is cool as well. Uh, I'm going to use some of our sandstone to make shells now. Which should also get us some more construction skill, at least. 
And do we have the, re the resources for research benches? Nope. <laughs> uh, oh, I can make it out of stone. Okay, we can make sandstone research benches as well. Uh, sure, we can get that set up in here then. That's not too bad. I'm not sure if we need lights or not. I know that you can make... I think it's dark lights out of wood, right? Yeah. But why... Although, let's try and... Uh, we could actually get some power down there, right? That was four. That might be pushing it a bit. I imagine this is still quite difficult to build. We could mine a bit of steel, get a wind turbine down. And get some electric lights going. That doesn't seem like a bad idea. Uh, I don't think that egg is going to block the turbine, is it? Might be better to put it here where I can defend it a bit more easily. Probably have to destroy all these uh, bits of metal in the way, though. That's fine, right? Try and get that built. Uh, we'll get research benches first. A little bit more skill. And steel and sandstone blocks. We have a little bit of steel. Yeah, we're going to have to do a little bit of mining, though, I think. I wonder if these give you any steel if you blow them up. Actually, let's go check that now. Uh, I really don't know. It's been a while since I played. It takes us a while to, <laughs> to destroy this thing. It is pretty big, I suppose. An armored personnel carrier, I assume. We're destroying it with a sword and a, a bow, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's reasonable, right? Alright, no resources, just uh, slag, which I don't think we can easily deal with at the moment. Uh, we, do, we do have a smelter, but that's more, ste <laughs> more steel and components though, so yeah. That's uh, probably not a good location. Well, no, I mean, we can, we can build it there, it just takes a little while to get out all this junk. Alright, I'll get the benches first down anyway. How's the rice coming along? 77? I have noticed some dromedary sort of inching closer to our... <laughs> Our oasis, which isn't surprising. But, uh, you know. I'm watching you guys. Don't show me your ass. Uh, oh, Hexel wants us to name things. I completely forgot we'd have to do this. Uh, well. Settlement name. Uh, I think Drink Deep is a good name for an oasis colony. Headed by vampires. Uh, as for the faction... We are supposed to be a bunch of snooty, pompous, arrogant uh, vampire lords. We we'll call ourselves the Desert's Chosen. Fair enough, I think. Probably should have thought about what I was going to call them <laughs> ahead of time. Hey, whatever. It's okay. In reality, I'm sure these guys wouldn't come up with anything particularly good, so it's, you know, it's fine. Uh, oh, and we do have a rice harvest. Fantastic. Please find me to comment about raincoats. I don't think that's going to be necessary too much. Uh, oh, and our guys have run out of things to do. Okay. Uh, chatted about comfortable furniture. Hmm. We don't have much comfortable furniture. Right, what's missing? Is it just... Oh, sandstone blocks. How are we missing sandstone blocks? Why aren't these getting built? Does this require skill that they don't have, or...? Missing 75... Oh, they're not going to start until they have all of the blocks. Oh, okay. Right, so we'll have to push this up a bit then. Alright, good to know. I uh, forgot it worked that way, if I ever knew it worked that way. Uh, so Kuzboy can go cut some chunks. Once we have them, Exa can use them. That's fine then. And after that, first uh, research targets. I guess batteries, first of all. I might want to get geothermal early, because we have two geothermal vents right next to us. Although, yeah, like in the, in the end of things, when we start setting up our real kind of fortress around the oasis, these are quite well positioned. For now, maybe not so much. Um, I think batteries is a fine one to go for first, though. Uh, we, also, we already have air conditioning, which is great. Solar panels would probably be pretty good in the desert, huh? But uh, yeah, we'll make a start on batteries first, I think. Seems pretty good. 
I'm going to go ahead and set up some uh, simple cooking bills on the stove as well. Since we've got a bit of meat here, a little bit of cactus as well. Might have rice soon. Uh, why not? We'll do some fine meals as well. We'll probably pull that off. This boy is decent at cooking, right? Well, he's got three skill currently, but enjoys doing it at least. Oh, I should also uh, set up a zone. Have I done the home zone even? I haven't even done the home zone. Uh, let's see, does this still work? Oh, I haven't finished the wall somewhere. Looks like I have finished the walls. Why did it? Why did it bleed through? Uh, right, I'm trying to use my mods to uh, save time there. Yeah, I'll make this the home zone. I've also got a mod to um, separate the home zone from the cleaning zone, so I'll also set up the uh, cleaning zone too. Uh, this might improve moods a little bit because we'd start repairing walls and cleaning floors, right? All right, there we go. Got the home zone and the cleaning zone that are very similar currently. Uh, probably not for long though. This is also home zone actually. Ah, and a raid from the Venom outfit. Uh, one guy named Shiley, wielding what looks like an anchor. Um, I have a mod that means I don't know what anybody's traits are until <laughs> until we recruit them. Uh, this is a, I guess, is that a child in Roomworld or is that, well, I, I meant there are actual children in the game now, so this looks like a normal colonist, so I don't think it's an in-game child, but it is a 14-year-old girl. Um, I haven't set up a prison cell yet, so probably can't um, capture this person. But we can try. You know, give it a shot. Make a new friend. I mean, whatever her traits are, she's pretty outgunned. It looks like she's nude as well. This is a nude 14-year-old girl wielding an anchor. So if we lose to this, I mean... Well, we deserve to lose to this. But I'm kind of worried this um, Masterwork Longsword is going to immediately <laughs> just cut her in two right away. Let's wait and see if uh, Kuzbai can get a shot off on her. Also, how far can I jump? Oh wow, I can jump really far. Alright, let's let's try jumping in. Let's save Kuzbai. And this little girl. That was cool, alright. <laughs> <laughs> that was cool. Um, I did just instantly cut off her leg, which is not great. Uh, she's dead in seven hours. Is seven hours enough time to just build a little box somewhere? Put a bed in it. I mean, I could just turn this whole room into a, a prison, right? Uh, I can just put down a sleeping spot, in fact. Yeah, that's fine. Let me just wall this off. Not even a big deal. I'm not sure if I have any wood for doors, but we'll we'll give it a shot. Uh, yeah. That means we need this done urgently. So let's put both of you on construction one for a second. Um, actually, I don't know. Sorry, my bot ship. You um yeah, ten by that medicine. We'll try and stop the bleeding while Hexa builds a cell <laughs> for this person. Oh. <laughs> okay, Kuzpai did manage to uh, stop the bleeding, is now being beaten up. Well, that's surprising. I thought she'd be on her ass a lot longer than that. Alright, Kuzpai, let's see if you can uh, take her out. This is a naked, one legged. Okay. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. Uh, that means we can forget this for a second. Uh, rest in peace, whoever you are. I'll get back to doing what we were doing. Kuzbai and Hexaflex gabbed about fat people. Hexaflex showed a word about eating without tables with Kuzbo. 
Yeah, we do now have a table with a chair, in fact. So we're moving up in the world, you know. And we are not using medicine. Okay, good. And Q's boy is cooking the little girl. Is this what you people wanted? Is this what you wanted to see? Despicable. I'm not sure which mod it is that I installed that gave like variations on all the workbenches, but that's also kind of cool. Um, I have quite a few mods installed that basically just make the game look different. I clean things up and make things look nice. Um, there's a list of all the mods in, in using the game in the setup video for this series if you're curious. You can uh, go check that out and just click on the, the mods chapter. How's this room looking now? Uh, mediocre. That's good. All right, in the morning, we'll beat up these uh, metal chunks. We'll get down a wind turbine. And then we'll set up a real prison so that we're ready when we get attacked by uh, more substantial human leather. <laughs> Lovely. Um, <laughs> we'll make sure that we are ready when we get attacked by more substantial forces. Uh, well, this feels like a nice place to end the episode, right? We got a lot done on day one, look at this. Considering we have no skills. What's your construction now? Five construction? I mean... Hex is a pretty competent builder at this point. Uh, food is... we down to six meals. We have started making meals though, so that's also fine. Yeah, tomorrow morning we'll punch these things away, put up a wind turbine. And put up an electric stove and uh, electric stove then and some lights too, some dark lights. Get a prison built and then we're uh, yeah we're doing pretty good then. All right, I'll leave the episode there. I uh, hope you enjoyed it though. Thanks for watching. Hopefully I'll see you in the next one.